to play out this brief conversation our editor Niranjan had with Shashank Manohar, ICC boss, who clearly wants to delink himself from the scandal, refrains from making any comment, refuses to speak on the issue, says, I don't know about it, don't want to comment on it. Shashank Manohar telling our editor Niranjan, we're going to play out that bit in a bit, but, uh, in that phono in a bit, but also what we are breaking first in Republic is we have the access to that summon, uh, which uh, according to which Arbaz has been asked to appear before the police sharp at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Hello. This is Shishang Manohar. Good afternoon, sir. This is Niranjan from Republic TV. Yes. Sir, good evening, sir. I just called you regarding this uh, summons to actor Arbaz Khan in connection with the betting racket, the IPL betting racket. I don't know. I am not concerned with all these things. So, would uh, the ICCI want to issue a statement perhaps on this uh, issue? Because it uh, concerns the cricket? chief executive. Cheers. Thank you, Mr. Shishang Manohar. Hello. This is Shishang Manohar. Good afternoon, sir. This is Niranjan from Republic TV. Yes. Sir, good evening, sir. I just called you regarding this uh, summons to actor Arbaz Khan in connection with the betting racket, the IPL betting racket. I don't know. I am not concerned with all these things. So, would uh, the ICCI want to issue a statement perhaps on this uh, issue? Because it uh, concerns the cricket? Chief executive. Cheers. Thank you, Mr. Shishang Manohar. No, he doesn't want to comment on it. But is, is can can this be so simplistic, uh, Shavan? You know, how can the cricket top bodies not really know anything about it or and, and feign innocence? Shavan, uh, let's talk a bit more about this summon, according to which he has to appear tomorrow at 11 a.m. sharp. But what could be his legal options? Because he's obviously going to, uh, you know, uh, try or maybe evade this or send his legal team what could he do? What could be the best options with uh, Arbaz Khan from here on? Well, he certainly has the option of sending his legal representative, citing reasons as to why he cannot appear before the Thani crime branch, and also, more importantly, uh, at least distancing from this entire case. That would become very crucial for Arbaz Khan because that's perhaps the expected line if you go as far as this particular case is concerned. Many already within within his circles indicating that this was a party that was basically called in. Uh, not much link that Arbaz has with Sonu Jalan. It is through an acquaintance that he has basically got in touch with Sonu Jalan. That's the word really coming in from insiders who do know Arbaz Khan and that's what the first reaction essentially coming out from Arbaz's team. But we'll still have to wait and see what uh, would, what would be the official line taken by Arbaz Khan's media team and whether at all they're going to release any sort of statement. We'll suddenly have to wait and uh, wait for that particular statement to come in. But as far as the summons are concerned, he certainly has the option of not responding to it or sending in as the legal representative or at best even appear for the summons and give the reasoning to what uh, what was the photograph all about and what is his connection with Sonu Jalan because that becomes very important and that's the crux of the entire investigation.